Hey, so um, we've been getting a lot of questions about uh, R value. What is an R value? What does R mean? Um, inches of insulation and depth. And so um, pretty simply, an R value of insulation is, is just the amount of resistance to heat um, escaping or coming through to your house that the insulation has. So uh, basically the higher the R value, the more resistance to heat that the insulation is going to have. Um, it can get kind of confusing, um, but the R value um, basically sets a standard for um, there's a code level when you build your house. Um, there's a, a couple different standards on just how the house can perform um, and meet certain Energy Star requirements and so forth. So um, simply put, the, um, the, the greater the R value in your house, the greater chance you have to be more energy efficient. Um, and that goes for your walls and the thickness of insulation you're um, capable of having in your walls. Uh, obviously the attic insulation that's blown in, um, sometimes underneath the house and um, even around pipes and whatnot. So um, a few years ago, uh, or really for the last several years, the R value for a new home was R30. And um, depending on the type of material, um, an R30 might be 10 inches for a certain type of fiberglass or, or 12 inches um, maybe for a cellulose or fiberglass or whatnot. So R30 has been the code for a really long time. And recently um, the Department of Energy um, and the building uh, code specialists have moved that up to R38. And so um, Energy Attic is kind of always sold to R38. That's always kind of been our energy star, energy package level, um, which for the material we use is usually around 14 inches of insulation. Um, but now if you built a new house today, it would be required to have an R38 or about 14 inches of fiberglass insulation in the attic. Um, in the exterior walls, it's typically R13 or R19, just depending on the depth there. So um, we've done some posts too. Just remember that consistency is more important um, than depth in our opinion. So if you've got an R13 and it's consistent all the way across the attic, um, in my opinion, that's better than having an R30 over here and, and it dipping down or losing some insulation around can lights and having inconsistent R values. Um, so that's basically our value, uh, resistance to heat. Um, you want a very consistent level there and um, depending on you know where you live and what the codes are, you might have a different requirement. Um, but we can come in and assess what your current R value might be, get that leveled out and add some on top um, to give you a consistent R value in your attic.